Now, on a much lighter note, but with the arrival of summer, in the uh, Northern Hemisphere at least, and here in Korea, it's crucial to know which sunscreen is right for you. But with the vast array of choices out there, it can be very difficult to know which one is best. Well, our Son Jung-in has a few tips on how to choose the best product and how to use it correctly. 38-year-old Lee Hae-young has become more and more concerned about the aging of her skin as the rays of the summer sun intensify. She is now more attentive when choosing sunscreen products. I can feel that my skin has been damaged from the strong rays of the sun, and I've noticed that I have a darker complexion now and bigger pores. To protect yourself, it is important to know which sunscreen will bring the best results. But first, you should know there are two general types of sunscreens, physical and chemical ones. Physical sunscreens protect your skin by blocking or reflecting the sun's rays like mirrors that sit on the skin. It is relatively safe since it is not absorbed by the skin and is often recommended for people with sensitive skin. But the minerals are thick and opaque, sometimes leaving a white residue on the skin. Chemical sunscreens, on the other hand, work by absorbing ultraviolet rays. They turn this energy into a less dangerous form of radiation that causes less damage to skin. Chemical sunscreens are easily applied, but can also bring about various allergic reactions because of the chemicals used to make them. About 50 percent of the people who do not use sunscreen avoid it because it irritates their eyes or because of its strong scent. Removing sunscreen from the body is as important as applying it. If it is not fully removed, the residue mixed with dust from the air can remain on your skin and clog the pores, which can cause an itchy, blistering skin rash. Experts recommend double cleansing to ensure your skin is completely clean by first washing with an oil-based cleanser and then using a water-based one. Son Jung-in, Arirang News.